vision was blurry and now I see clear You wouldn't believe what I made in the year Trading designer, I'm sticky as hell Higher in Atlanta, I should be the Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, but in today's video, we're taking a look at the top five best class setups or loadouts in Call of Duty Warzone. A lot of you guys have asked me, what are the top five best loadouts in Warzone or like what are the meta guns? With the recent update, a lot of guns have got nerfed and a lot of guns have got buffed, but these are the top five best class setups in the game right now. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and turn my notifications. Join my Discord, follow my Twitch, everything is down in the description down below. But yeah, uh, let's jump into it. But coming in, guys, at class number one, we have the QBZ, and then we're going to be pairing it with the Cold War MP5. The QBZ is by far one of the most underrated guns in the game right now. This thing is absolutely disgusting. The time to kill on this thing is very high. The mobility on it is actually solid for an AR, and just the recoil. There's not, there's a little bit of recoil there, but it is manageable, so it actually makes this gun very good. The Cold War MP5, you guys know me, this is one of my favorite guns in Warzone right now. Up close, you're not losing a gunfight with this gun. But for the QBZ, guys, these are the attachments you guys want to rock. For muzzle, you want to go with agent suppress you want the sound suppress the vertical the bow velocity and the damage range for the barrel you want to go with the task force the bow velocity horizontal recoil control effective damage range and vertical recoil control for the underbarrel and then for the underbarrel you want to either rock the field agent grip or the s5 speed grip whatever you feel like the field agent grip you do lose ads speed and movement speed but you do get better recoil and then with the s5 you basically lose movement speed but you get basically sprint move speed and horizontal recoil control whatever you like i just think the field agent grip is the best to rock basically at any AR if you guys are looking for the no recoil but S5 to me is perfectly fine I switch on and off with this mobility you get the S5 field agent grip for more recoil control so it's kind of whatever you like but we're gonna go with field agent grip on this one for the magazine you want to go with the 60 round standard drum I feel like the more ammo you have obviously the better you can go with the fast mag if you want I just like going with the drum the fast mag and drum really does not matter whatever you prefer and then for the optic guys you want to go with the arms 3x I just think the arms 3x is the best optic in the game right now so this is the class setup you guys want to rock and then for the cold war mp5 you for the muzzle you want to go the agency suppressor so for barrels you don't want to put any barrel on it actually makes the gun worse it really does not help the barrel at all so we don't put any barrel on the cold war mp5 for laser i go with the tiger team spotlight on any cold war smg i like having movement speed and mobility being able to slide cancel bunny hop and do all this crazy movement with any smg is very beneficial for me at least so we go with the tiger team for the under barrel you want to go with bruiser again movement speed speed is key with smgs if you can have better movement than someone else more than likely you'll win the gunfight regardless of the gun they have if you can move if you can slide cancel bunny up drop shot all that stuff it will increase you as a player because if you can have movement in warzone you can win 99 percent of your gunfights regardless whatever gun someone has if you can lock down the movement so bruiser grip for me is what i run for the magazine we go with the 50 round drum i just think it's the best and then for the stock we want to go with the collapse stock again mobility this cold war mp5 bro the movement on this thing is absolutely disgusting and then guys for class two we're rocking the ak-47 and then we have the milano paired up with this milano is one of my favorite smgs i dropped my pr with the milano i love the a milano a lot for the ak you can build this one or two ways smg version or the ar we're gonna build the ak like an ar so for muzzle you want to go with the groove suppress basically south spreads vertical bolt velocity damage range for the barrel you want to go with the spet nas rpk barrel bolt velocity recoil control all that stuff damage range for the optic again the arms 3x and then for the under barrel we are building this like an AR, you want to throw on the Spetnaz speed grip to give it basically that accuracy and that mobility. And then for magazine, you want to go with the 60 round mag to basically finish off for the AK-47. Now for the Milano guys, very basic Milano class setup, but this is the best Milano class setup in the game, I think. You want to go with agency suppressor. For barrel, you want to throw on the task force. For laser, you want to go with the tiger team spotlight. Under barrel, you want to go with the bruiser. And then for the magazine, you want to rock the 55 round drum. Agency, task force, tiger team, bruiser, standard 55 round drum drum this milano class the movement's incredible the time to kill is insane and just to recall on this thing it literally has none this is the best milano class setup in the game right now for class number three we were rocking the krig and then we have the bullfrog the bullfrog to me i think this is the best smg in the game this milano or cold war mb5 i think are the best the bullfrog this bullfrog class i'm gonna give you guys is absolutely disgusting but the krig to me it's the second best gun in the game right now right behind the Farah. the krig is absolutely insane it literally has zero recoil time to kill 
metal on it. It's insane. The movement on this thing is actually pretty decent as well. For the muzzle, you want to go with the agency suppressor again, recoil control, bullet velocity, damage range. For the barrel, you want to go with the CMV spec. For the optic, you want to go with the Arms 3X. For the underbarrel, you want to go with the field agent grip or the asphalt free grip. Again, these can be one of your two options. Field agent grip if you want recoil. The Craig really has none, so you can go with the asphalt to give it a little bit more sprint movement speed. But I just think the field agent grip is the best underbarrel for the Craig right now. And then for the magazine, you want to go with the 60 round mag to top off the Craig. Now, the Bullfrog, this is the best Bullfrog class setup in the game right now, hands down. Time to kill the movement, the recoil is nuts. For the muzzle, you want to go with the Gru Suppress. The barrel, you want to throw on the Task Force. Laser, again, Tiger Team Spotlight. For the underbarrel, you want to throw on the Bruiser. And then to top it all off, for stock, you want to put on the Spatnaz PKM stock. The mobility on this thing is absolutely insane, dude. This is probably my favorite SMG to run right now in the game. I love it. And then if you guys know, you got Diamond, throw Diamond on it. If not, hey, throw Dark Ether on it, that bad boy. We're going to be grinding for Dark Ether as well, so keep your eyes open. Class number four. I hate to say this. The DMR meta is back. No! And then for class number four, I hate to say this, the DMR meta is back. The DMR is stupidly overpowered. I'm not a fan of it. I never played Warzone when the DMR meta was a thing, but the DMR to me is a top tier gun right now. For the muzzle, you want to go with the agency silencer. For the barrel, you want to go with the task force. For the underbarrel, I go with the field agent grip. You can go with the SFOD. I just think the field agent agent grip is better again magazine guys you want to go with the standard 44 round mag and then for the optic you want to throw on the arms 3x if you guys got any special cam you want to throw it on top it off with diamond but yeah that is the dmr class now we're heading to the modern warfare mb5 this gun you need the 30 round mag on it or there's really no point of using the modern warfare mb5 it has the fastest ttk with the 30 round mags on it so we're going no muzzle for the barrel you want to go with a monolithic integral suppressor for lazy you want to go with the five milliwatt for the underbarrel you can either go with Merc or Commando, but again, you can use this as a hip fire gun. Go with the Merc foregrip. The magazine, you want to throw on the 30 round mag. This has the fastest TTK up close. And then the last attachment, you can either put on a stock, a rear grip, or a perk. We're going to be throwing on a fast mag because we do only have 30 rounds, so we're going to be loading a lot more. And with side of hands, it just reloads this gun a lot faster. But this is what you guys use to top off the Modern Warfare 5 The last class setup in the game right now is the best AR in the game, hands down, is the Farah 83. And then we'll be pairing this with a mac 10 which is still a top tier smg in warzone right now the thing is absolutely insane now if you guys want to see an updated top 10 best loadouts let me know down in the comments down below but these are just my top five that i always run if you want to throw a sniper in here use an spr or a car i believe those are the two best uh snipers in the game right now for the farah again you build this pretty similar to like every other cold war ar you don't want to go with the Gru suppressor for barrel you want to go with the spetnaz rpk for the optic you want to go with the arms 3x for under barrel you either want to go with the spetnaz grip or the spetnaz speed grip i like using the spatna speed grip this thing literally has zero recoil control at all and then for the magazine you guys want to throw on the six round mag to top the fire completely off this thing is absolutely disgusting for the mac 10 pretty basic mac 10 build nothing really special agency now some people go reinforce heavy i go with task force laser you got to throw on the tiger team laser for the underbarrel i do use bruiser and then for the magazine i use a 50 round drum you take off tiger team spotlight and throw on the raider stock or no stock or whatever stock you want but i like having my smgs built like this stocks and knee are kind of pulling you have the uh, tiger team you take off tiger team as well and throw on what i said again raider stock or the no stock or the combat stock whatever you feel like but let me know what you guys think about these class sets down in the comments down below if you guys are brand new to the channel follow my twitch guys i stream monday through saturday over there at 5 p.m central but i appreciate all the support we'll see on tiktok youtube and twitch absolutely insane but again if you guys enjoy this video drop a like subscribe and turn notifications but yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace Baby, but you know I